Are actions more important than words? What is a good question? What does love look like? Who do you love? What's over there? Are we there yet? This project combines tradition with technology. It has six ingredients. The first is the architecture. It's a dramatic gallery designed by Daniel Liebenskin with 60-foot ceilings and 36 skylights. Uh, I thought it was the best use of that sound space so far in this museum. The second component of the show is social media. We develop custom applets for a user to be able to submit questions to the show. We have a website that you can utilize to submit questions. We have a Twitter account and a Facebook that really allows people to uh, add their questions to uh, the gallery and to the show itself. The third component is the computer vision system. So that the room is responsive to the movements of each visitor, we develop new statistical robot learning algorithms that can adapt to the environment in the room as the light changes throughout the day. The fourth component to the show is the sound system. We were extremely honored to be able to work with uh, Meyer Sound uh, and their latest technology, their uh, speakers, their Dimitri uh, computer system that allow us to design a sound and move it in the space in a true 360 surround sound experience. And the fifth is the content, the questions. In addition to the questions we're getting from the public, we also went to historical sources the Torah, the Talmud, Jewish literature, and from pop culture sources like song titles and jokes. And the final component of the show is you, the visitor. The show is designed to be able to be triggered by you visiting the gallery, by you participating online and uh, uh, submitting questions. But really when you walk into the space, the architecture, the camera, and the sound all react to your movement in the space. Can a machine be intelligent? Why can't anything travel faster than the speed of light? When does life begin? What is the difference between choosing and being chosen? 